What's up guys, Dozer03 here, and I'm a little fucking pissed, but I'm a little fucking happy. So let's show you why I'm fucking pissed. That shit right there. Drew Pomerantz, the 85 Red Sox pitcher, is down to an 83. So I'm assuming his value is fucking shot too. However, I'm happy because Justin Verlander is gold. So, yeah, that right there is something. Well, what the fuck? My fucking gold closer is now a silver reliever. I swear to God, I'm starting to get mad, guys. This is crap. Are you kidding me? Anything else I should know about? You're still gold. That's good. And looks like Gene Segura is now my best shortstop. He'll be the starter from now on. Jackie, you should be gold by now, bud. Okay. So, guys, as you can see, I'm a little pissed because... It seems that two of my gold have become silvers. So yeah, I'm a little mad about that, not gonna lie. So Segura, Polanco, Kipnis, Martinez, then Myers, then Frazier, then Manny, then Weeders. So yeah, guys, basically what happened in today's update was not good for me. Verlander became gold, which is nice, but Pomerantz is silver, and now Will Harris is also silver. Harris was my closer. And they moved him to silver. So that just show, goes to show how quickly you can have really good players that go down. So Will Harris will remain the closer on the team because he's done a great job. So we have Hamels, Carrasco, Verlander, Ross, Pomerantz. Now Pomerantz honestly has not been that great with the Red Sox. So I'm not shocked he's down to a silver. And I don't follow the Astros. So I'm not too sure why Will Harris went down. Uh, again, I don't follow him. Let's play the Dodgers and honor the fact that the Red Sox are playing them tonight. So I'm a little mad about that. That's pretty annoying. That two of my guys went down. Verlander went up, which is good. I do like that. We've already edited the lineup. But, you know, the fact that I bought Pomerantz, man, like three, four days ago is a gold. Now the thing is he's probably cheap as hell because he's a silver. So, that's a little annoying, honestly. I mean, he's still probably good, but it's like I bought him just so soon that if I just waited a couple days, could have gotten him for probably a thousand stub less. The price pretty much shoots down if you're not a gold. But again, hopefully that pack opening will come tomorrow. Of course, cannot promise anything, but more likely than not, it will. And hopefully there we can get rebound and get some golds. Now, one thing I'm shocked about is they keep updating the rosters. I don't know why Jackie Bradley Jr. isn't gold. Is coming up. I mean, the guy had a 29-game hitting streak, and he was an all-star. Is that not good enough to be a gold? Because to me, it is. So there we go. Will Myers standing in to pose. Howie Kendrick leading off. Just about ready for Drew Pomerantz, the silver. Not the gold, is pitching tonight. For and the tacos. Away from Wrigley as the first pitch of the night is taken for ball one. I'm very That's mad about this. Swing through it. It's one and one. Now Will Will Harris, I, I can live. One and two. Swinging bunt out. But Pomerant that kills. But you know what? Verlander went gold. So it's not like, I mean, nothing really changed honestly. If one guy goes silver, the other goes gold. But I was still really, really hoping. Here's the first we could get lucky, and this would be the behind week Jackie goes gold. Town, but and we will wait because I think it will happen this season. Protecting on 0 2, so I really do, again. but we'll find out. Shot fouled over towards the coaching box. Now this is up and in. Oh, uh, you guys have no idea how mad I am. There we go. So yeah, I think this is their first time. I think this is the first time I've ever played the Dodgers. So it's obviously the first time you've seen me play them as well. So yeah, that's, as you've seen what just happened to me. Now, that's a quick tip from playing this game. Buy players you think will go gold, and don't buy ones you think you're going to go silver. Now, again, I don't follow the Astros, so I couldn't have known Will Harris was probably doing poorly. Pomerantz was an all-star, and he was gold. He deserved it. And he hasn't been trashed with the Red Sox. It's just, I agree, I guess, with the fact that he shouldn't be a gold. I'm not happy about it, but seeing him play as a Red Sox fan, I don't think he's done anything 
to deserve to go gold. So, I get it. Now, Verlander, I don't know why he wasn't gold in the first place. That guy is always good. So... Gregory Polanco, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. The anger is real right now. Dozer 03 is pissed. I had him lunging at that one out of the zone, and that's strike one. You know, a lot of times with a sinker baller out there, you just can do a sinker ball. Look for something is your down. pitcher so gold? Because mine's not. Maybe four seam it every Stupid once in a game. while. And when he does, you can forget it. In for a strike, and he jumps ahead one and two now. So again, it's not a big deal because we did get Verlander gold. Over to the bag. So it's and not Verlander like we have easily. no golds all of a sudden. And we did have Carrasco, who was a silver gold gold. And Adrian Gonzalez was a gold who went silver. So we've had our fair share of players being affected by this. But we'll live, honestly. It's not a big deal. I'm not super mad about it. It's just, why don't I get the guys to go gold? But no, yeah, so roster updates do affect Diamond Dynasty, which I think is really cool, except when you get fucked over by it, then it's not cool. So thank you, Kipnis, for the double play. JD's up with a man on third. He has a home run, I believe, in each game I've played so far with him. Oh, shit, he's playing. So, yeah, that's it, guys. I mean, if you really have a gut feeling somebody's going to go gold, buy the card. I don't know if I bought Verlander in a video, or I don't know if I said it in a previous video, but I did buy Verlander because I thought he was going to go gold. And at least that patience was rewarded. Again, I don't know if I said it in a video or not, but I did. Because Verlander's always been a good pitcher. He's had some rough parts, but overall, he's a great pitcher. So we get a run because Gene Segura, the new shortstop, is fast as hell. Justin Turner will come forward to lead things off here for the Dodgers with Adrian Gonzalez due to hit next. And this is a guy that can make a big change in this game with one swing of the bat because you know he has big time. Come on, you silver bitch. For a Earn your gold back. One. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first And here's this guy who is supposed to be gold. So the bases are empty with one trash. gone. And now the left-handed hitting Adrian Gonzalez will get a shot. Thing is, I don't think he's having a bad year. I don't know why he's one. silver now. And it's quickly 0-2. Now a swing and a There we go. Curveball well got him. As he becomes the second out. Scott Van Slyke is up. Scott Van Slyke stands in as he So I wish the game gave you a description one. of all the movements. Because I like to know all the new golds, maybe new targets for the team. Polanco will get there. I still think Jackie Bradley should be gold. But uh, the game must not agree with me. This guy, you could probably also argue, should be gold. Obviously, he's not gold yet. He's still silver, but he probably should be gold by now. I think he was in the home run derby again this year, so he definitely has power. And is that going to fall? Yes, it will. There we go. Base hit for Todd Frazier. Who has not been in the lineup for a while because he's been down while Justin Turner's been up. Manny Ramirez will get So we haven't seen a lot here. of Todd Frazier. Now Manny's in, who is gold. Ramirez. First pitch on its way. Into the seats, 0 and 1. I'm just, I am very happy Verlander's gold. That's really all I got to say. Is I'm very happy Verlander's gold. And I'll take it, I guess. I'll take it. I mean, Verlander's such a great pitcher. I think he's respected really by everybody. Well, too bad that last guy couldn't advance the man into scoring position. So now it's probably going to take a gap. Weeders, that's going to be a fly, all right? Yeah. And they updated the rosters, too. Josh Reddick just made the catch. The new Dodger. Group Pomeranz. Stands in for the, the silver pitcher is in. And he takes a cold strike. 0 and 1. 
I was so excited to get Drew Pomerantz. The new Red Sox. I was so happy to have him. Now he's a silver. He's an 83. Second. It's not even like he's an 84 silver. He went from 85 to 83. This game hurt him. Gene Segura, gets a shot. Segura is up again. Second time in the game. Let's do it. And that is out. Yeah, it was actually a smart decision. I'm level 26 though. I'll take that. I am level 26. Jock Peterson leads it off here. Bottom Leading third of the, the order is set to go here in the third. So Pomerantz for me, I believe I've only pitched them once or twice. They need to get something going because you can't don't really remember how many times. One or two times. One, uh, you guys saw the debut of Pomerantz. And I think I might have pitched them one more time. Because I don't record every game I play for you guys. You saw it was, I believe, 33 and 4. This is only episode 7, I believe, of Diamond Dynasty. So you guys have not not seen nearly every game I've played. And he struck him out as well. So the, the Pomerantz, he feels the same. Here and there are two away. He feels like he's the, the same pitcher. One. He said, here's the 0-1. Might have thought about it here, but he lays off the breaking ball inside. It's even but at one. Overall, kind of annoying that they bring your gold down. But at the same time, it can, rever it can work the reverse way. You can get a gold out of a silver. So, I mean, you could really win, Gregory or you could get Polanco screwed over and lose like I do sometimes. Three. I've had three you know guys go down from gold like to silver, but I believe I've had two go up from silver to gold, so it really depends if luck's on your side or not. It's not guaranteed, but it happens. Now, I really do think Jackie will be gold by season's end, but we will see. Because he really hasn't calmed down with you. He's had such a great season. Very consistent batter, too. I believe he's going 300. I think he's got 14 or 15 home runs by now. I mean, he has gold numbers, so. And I have him on my team. That's really why I care a lot. He's one of the older guys from my team, but. On to first and very quickly. He's useful. Are gone here in the home third. I'm really hoping, guys, tomorrow we get that pack over. Because then I can get some sets done. And it'll be very fun. This first time through. Yeah, and so far, that's been the only real offense in this game. Good pitching Ow. so far. First pitch hacking here. And that's so, bottom the third. Strike. Tacos up 1 0 on the Dodgers. High fly All ball right. Straight away center. Peterson Fun. is there. Got a little overexcited on that one. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. So that's the end of the inning. Dodgers hitless through three, and here we go, top the of the fourth. Pomeranz back out. They'll look to get something going here, and even this game Not quite up. pitching like a silver, honestly. I've had a good amount of silvers on my team. And now a curveball that bounces up to the plate. See, now here's the thing. If Verlander went gold, it would have been so great, because then if Pomeranz was gold, too, I'd have four starting pitchers that are gold. I'm still I don't know why Will Harris went down. You know what we're going to do, guys? At the end of this game, we're going to Google Will Harris's stats, and we can see why maybe he would have gone down. Because he was a gold closer, now he's a silver reliever. So maybe it was the position change, because maybe he's a good closer but a crappy reliever. Because obviously, closers have the lowest stamina of any pitchers in the game. So maybe he has very low stamina for a reliever, which is overall down. I, I don't know. But we will find out after this if his stats this year are bad. I know Astros starters have had a rough year, but I'm not too sure about their relievers and closers. So there we go. Four hitless from Pomerantz. Very good start. Will Myers. And guys, we will be continuing with the road to the show. I haven't stopped. I'm just taking a little break, playing a lot of Diamond Dynasty, playing a ton of Destiny. He had to be looking for something else to start the at bat. It's 0-1. I haven't stopped. I will go back to it. Don't worry, we will continue road to the show, where I am indeed worse than Pablo Sandoval. Drifting toward the third base dugout. Go to the dugout. Go to the dugout. Oh, you dick! Todd Frazier is the batter. Got a base hit in his first trip. 
ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And hopefully, guys, we get a good card after this too. Basically, at this Not point, for all the rewards, all I'm one. looking for is players that are on teams. That's really all I need. Because free agents don't Beautiful have a set, so they're there, totally useless. Those get fed bat. to your it's player. Two now. Everybody else, you keep for sets. Now he lifts a high pop up, oh, of course. drifting into foul territory on the right side. Of and course. he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. The left fielder, Manny 24. Ramirez stands in for the second See, guys, I switch my legend up quite often. So if you guys want me to change my legend, let me know, and I will obviously change him. If there's any players you want to see, I will do that. First it was Ken Griffey Jr., and now it's Manny Ramirez. I don't know who to do next. I like to switch up my legend, though. Basically, if Jackie goes gold, I'll move Polanco to left. And then I'll change Manny to probably a third base legend. Does Weeders have number 12? He does. There we go. Matt Weeders, two-run home run. Number 12 for the Tacos. Sometimes those silvers are good. Drew Pomeranz stands in as he can't connect here. 0-1. Oh, another pitch up. Just like the home run ball a second ago. He's going to have to get that thing down. Oh, and it looks like a visit so to the So 0-2 with two outs. After that. Oh, I don't like this. Now. And a bunt attempt now, but this is foul, and the inning is over. No! Ah, damn it. I fouled the bunt on two strikes. I'm out. Off the Fifth inning, inning Pomerantz now has more of a cushion to, to work with. So let's just keep one. this lead. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. Can't quite get around in time to keep it fair, and it remains 0-2. Oh, really there we go. Pitch working now as he notches number nine in the ball game. Ninth K for Pomerantz Adrian in four Gonzalez and a third. Is in for his Very good start. As he looks at a ball. Trying to get his gold back. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball one and one. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up. Oh, that, that curveball is nasty. And Number 10. Struck him out. The tenth victim set down on and it's a little so early far. in this game, as you Scott couldn't tell. Flight. Already 10 Ks. Second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Swing Make it 11. Blew the fastball right by him. And Gene Segura, Segura up for the third as time. Is he two for two or one for two? One for two today. Guys, the new shortstop. We didn't even buy him, but they did man, move him so from an 80 to an 84. And I figure with his speed, he's a perfect leadoff guy. So let's do it. No, he has the pitcher we're going against. I haven't even checked. It's Kenta Maeda. Let's see what pitches he has after this. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. But he has a four seam, a circle change, a slider, two. sinker, and curveball. So full arsenal for Maeda. Swung on and lifted in that's the a double fat falls, if it falls is the question. Peterson. And it doesn't. That's an out. I was hoping it was going to fall because that 88 speed, that's an easy double. Now my dog is going freaking berserk out there. Sassy, shut up. Now, a ball hit in now the that might have some promise. Down the line. And of course not. And that'll slice just I'm wondering if maybe my, someone's here. No, you know, it's probably like a fucking cat now in my yard or something. Looping curveball in there for strike two. To first. And Gonzalez damn it. Gonzalez is up with it. And he'll take this to the bag himself. And there are two away now. Damn. Striding into the box, Jason, Jason Kipnis. Kipnis. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Now this guy's been on a rather cold streak. He hasn't been doing much recently. Sent in the air out to See what I mean? Central. Usually now that's a home run for Kipnis. No trouble with this one and the inning is over. Leading off the inning, Jock Peterson. Did I see Jock Peterson's a bronze? Here and even this game up. Nah, and see that guy I believe was a gold or a silver when this game started. 
So that's the thing. It's not just between gold and silver. If you hadn't known that, you probably did. But no, it's everything. David Price was a diamond. He went down to a gold. I mean, you can go theoretically from bronze to diamond. I don't think it ever happened. But I don't think anybody can have such an amazing season that they started at a bronze. and got all the way to diamond. But you never know, so... Uh, Number 12 for Pomerantz. Even dozen strikeouts for him in the ball game. Kiki Hernandez is in. We'll get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. I don't want to start talking too early here. But can we start talking perfect game? And here's a pitch swung out. Again, I don't want to start too early. Number 13. So it might be time to begin the countdown as he's now gone. Yep, see, Pedro even Mad Last Scourgeon's with me here. Do we start to, to think about it? JD Martinez. Uh, I'm not Big saying it's going to happen, but for him do we start talking about it? And you know, I think he's had a good approach in each of his first two at bats. Obviously, I can manage to fuck that up in one pitch. But we'll see where this goes. Will Myers will dig in. 0 for 2. He's flied out and popped out so far. Just getting under it right now. See if he can make an adjustment and keep that top hand strong. Broken bat and oh! Find a way to dodge nice catch by Adrian Gonzalez and we're out. Number two. Honestly, this is with a one game right now where I'm more excited to pitch than hit. Oh, had him chopping at that one. It's nothing in one. So although I have a feeling a we will probably it blow it, to be honest. This is hit pretty well out to left. Now wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh! To track it down, and what a catch in the, in the outfield by Van Slyke, and that ends the inning. So we here's Howie Kendrick. Howie Kendrick. But more importantly, here comes Pomerantz. Here. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. And there's a swing and a miss by Kendrick as he falls behind down 0-2. And he that's number 14. So that's out number one here in the seventh as he continues to keep him out of the Gotta start getting a little excited, guys. I know we're gonna blow it. But it's fun while it's gonna last, right? And this is drifting foul back into the stands. Got him. Give me 15. So second out of the inning, and he's seven outs away now. Now batting. Corey Seager is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. 1 and 1. 7 outs away everybody. And he lays off for a ball. 2 and 1. Ah. Uh, so every time I swing I get fucking scared. In on putting up yet another zero. Number 16. So 7 innings down. Five, so Perfect game down. going for Pomerantz. Many the closest I've ever taken it was, I believe I got through eight and a third. So with one out in the ninth, I blew it with Carrasco. Now this is before I even did YouTube. This is really early on. Actually, it was when I did YouTube because I was doing YouTube when this game came out. And then I stopped for a while and now I'm back. But, so it was probably during the first time I had YouTube because it was very early in the game. But I did have a perfect game through eight and a third. Oh, and then with a oh Manny the Ramirez gone. This, one. this is way out of here. So yeah, with one out in the ninth, I walked the guy, and then I even gave up a run. So I lost so a shutout. I lost the no hitter field, in the matter of like two or three at bats. Ever nothing. since then, I don't he think I've ever gotten gun. close. Get Except for now, I'm actually getting pretty close now. We're gonna be going into the eighth with no hits, no runs, no nothing. Digs in with one run in. Obviously, one he's not leaving this game, though. Way off balance hack that time. Good for the you could obviously strike. do a combined no hitter, but the, I don't know. For some reason, that just doesn't look Grounded good. To third. You know, who cares if you can combine for a no hitter? It's really on all about that one guy going down. the distance, taking him out. Now, next, we're going to see if you look at the Wrigley time Field time outfield, looks like Turner Gonzalez. And Van Slyke. So the big, big, heavy hitting part of their lineup is coming up in the next inning. So if we can get out of the eighth, there is a legitimate shot. Here we go. Justin Turner is up. They'll need him to get something going here. Out in front of it, strike one. The 0-1. A lot of movement that time. It's 0-2. He's feeling it now. I mean, this is turning into a clinic out there. Swing and a flare. Come on in. Right. Martinez moving to his left. 
And, he holds and there's the catch, the seven and a third. Adrian Gonzalez. Now he's red everywhere. I don't know what to do with this guy. I just got to pray that the fact that his speed of eight is going to be able to trip him up. The Palm Rides is 84 pitches, so he's not wicked tired. Thought that was a strike. There we go! 18 strikeouts for Drew Pomerantz. Four outs away from his date with history. Scott Van Slyke is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. Oh, Myers, end of the eighth. Three outs left, everybody. Three outs left. This is ridiculous, guys. I never thought I could do this. Obviously, I could blow it. I could screw it all up, which I probably will. So I guess I'll enjoy the hype while it lasts, but... Still, I believe, I don't think I've ever had as many strikeouts as I have now. Actually, no, I think in the game where I almost threw a perfect with Carrasco, I had 20. So I tied the MLB record with that one. Out in front of that one, may have been looking fastball. Good job just to make contact. Oh yeah, by the way, if I throw a perfect game, headphone warning. You have been warned, all right? So I'm probably gonna get excited. Probably gonna get excited. Jason Kipnis will stand in now, and he's been kept quiet out of the number three. I'm very nervous right now, though, guys. So far, because here's the thing: if you can go six innings of the perfect game, that's all good. But when you get this far, you get so nervous you're gonna screw it up. And he'll cruise into the bag. I really don't want to blow this because I've gotten, I've come so far. Eight innings, I got three guys left. Peterson, Grendel, and the pitcher. I got to do this. And that's a double. We're going to get some more runs. JD brings one in, as he always does. And now we're starting to get some more runs, which we don't need. I, I mean, if I give up a hit, I give up a hit, which will suck. But, honestly, I mean, this is crazy. And I'd be really happy because I was kind of like, do I want to record? Do I want to record? I don't know. I'd be really pissed if I threw a perfect game and didn't record it because no one would believe me. So if I do throw a perfect game, I'm happy I can share it with you guys. And you guys will believe me if I say I've done it. That's the other thing. So Frazier's up with two outs in the eighth. I don't really care about batting anymore. I just want to get into this ninth and just get it over with. Either throw the damn thing or not throw the damn thing. Whatever happens, happens. So this video quickly went from me getting fucking pissed at Pomerantz to doing something I have never done before High with Pomerantz. Well out Two outs, we all run, Peterson. and Frazier gone! Back. Put more on the gone. board. So the bats are alive tonight. Now, Unlike the past couple videos, we've been rather time. quiet Fritz hitting. Frazier, as this lead swells to seven to nothing. Base hit, Manny. Base hit. He's now so yeah, Peterson, four. Grandal, and the pitcher, who I assume will be pinch hit for. Matt Leader. Gets another shot. And so, remember, we're going to face three more batters. I don't know if we can do it. I hope, I hope, I hope. That's off his off leg. leg. No one on the bag. Not we're safe. On the throw to second, and now we'll have to now Pomerantz is up one for three in the single in the third. Drew Pomerantz. Steps in for a fourth plate appearance tonight, and why not? He's been in control all game. I've been in control all game, pitching, not hitting. Off that one and it's strike one. All right, this is crazy. Mind to the right and Pomeranz, and what a catch. A what a catch, catch. by Reddick. Here we go, guys. This is it. Jock Peterson, Jock Peterson is up. In for the third time Let's do now. it. He struck out and bounced out in his first two trips. Ninth inning underway now. Trying to the make history in MLB The Show 16. Can we do it? That's a strikeout, two to go. Yasmani Grandal is up. Pomerantz is getting tired. Not the time. And he missed with it. It's one and two. 
fought off at the plate. And Every time I hear again. the bat hit the ball, I get scared as shit. One to go! So now he's one out away from Me versus Chris Taylor. Taylor. We'll get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. In there, and it's 0-1. A swing and a miss on a good pitch, and the Dodgers are down to their final strike now. Did oh, God. Good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Swing and That's a perfect game, game for Drew Pomerantz. Well, you don't have to look too far to find our We have done it. The game. I'd say any time you throw we a have thrown game, the perfect game. Candidate. Yeah, Holy really shit. A dominating performance out there. Oh, look my God. I mean, they just couldn't touch him. We have thrown a perfect game. 20 strikeouts, no hits, no walks, no runs. We threw a perfect game with Drew Pomerantz. You have got to be kidding me. Look at that. Zeros across the board for the Dodgers. Pomerantz, a perfect game. 100 pitches even, 20 strikeouts. And a perfect game for Pomerantz. Holy shit. Are you kidding me? That deserves a good award. Come on. All right, they don't feel that way. Nothing. They don't even... Come on. There's not a mission or something. I mean, that kind of sucks. I mean, I'm so happy I just do a perfect game and you guys could see it. But I was really hoping they would give you something, you know? Not even a trophy for it. But you know what? Regardless, we just threw a perfect game with Drew Pomerantz. And that is just unbelievable. Ooh, I want that. I need a second to cool down from what just happened. That was... Absolutely unbelievable. I cannot believe that we just did that. I mean, that final strikeout, man, was just crazy. You know, I didn't see that coming at all. Uh, I'm really happy I recorded it so you guys could see it. But, oh my god, that... That is something else, guys. What we just did was... That's amazing. Never thought I could do that, but you know what? We just did, so... How about that? Wow. So, that was quite the game. Oh, my... Oh, God. Holy shit, guys. Poppy's got the goods. Oh, okay, that's what it is, guys. If you go to the captain shop, I guess once I hit 26, they don't show you the other crap. So this is on the show me now, guys. So unless you guys know how to get over there, you can teach me. But, uh... Wow. I cannot believe what just happened. So rank 30, Poppy's got some good stuff. And they changed the mission too. Now we're using players that weigh 230 or more for beefy ticket bonuses. So yeah, guys, that is it for this video. Drew Pomerantz throws the perfect game. Unbelievable. And until next time, Dozer03 signing out.